Packmaster setup and calibration for software version 4.04.521. To start with, we'll have to make sure LiftMaster is enabled. So go to your settings page, go to Implement Cedar Drill Control LiftMaster. If it is not, enable it. And then you'll get a Packmaster tab. Touch on the Packmaster tab. And then touch on the top bar, drop down menu will come, touch the enabled portion and the check mark to enable Packmaster. So once Packmaster is enabled, you'll get a new screen with a number of different tabs. We have the Packmaster control is enabled tab. Below that we have Preset 1 and 2 to put in your packing pressure and an increment amount to change that packing pressure by in the drill control screen on the operating screen. Pack 4 sensor needs to be enabled. Control type needs to be set to Pack Force in order for Pack Master to work. Second display. Set to pack force, the hydraulic pressure will be displayed. This will also allow you to see the packing force. The map value will set to pack force. The drive indicates the drive that your pack master is plugged into. So, depending on what you have on a tank, if you have a four tank or five tank, it will vary. It could be CM42 or CM43. We'll generally use drive 1 as it'll be the first available drive on that drill ECU. In this demonstration, drive 1 is occupied, so we are connecting to drive 2. Your min cal load, max cal load, min cal value, and max cal value. These are calculated automatically and should be at least 100 apart. New for 2021, some of the new models have been added into the drill model. So 3330, 3335, 3820 have been added. We will select uh, 3330. Once you've selected that, particular model, you'll see another drop screen that comes up with the openers that are available with that model. So the PLD, PLS, PLX. We will select PLS as that's what we are calibrating. So for each specific model there is openers that will be available for it once you select your model type. Next screen we'll go to is the control settings. These are all factory default settings on this screen. So unless you're having issues, you won't be changing any of these. Possibly the maximum PWM, depending on your tractor, you may have to raise that a little bit above 40% if you can't reach your maximum pressure that you desire. And also controller response tab if you find that the pack master is not responding quickly enough. Now that the setup is complete, we're ready to calibrate. So if we go back to the main screen by touching the running man, we'll get to our main operating screen. If the cedar controller screen is not enlarged on the right side of the screen, touch on the tank to get to the mini view and slide it across. So we want to get to the configuration tab. So touch the wrench with the gear on the right hand side of the screen. Once you have that, you'll get a configuration tab with pack master calibration down at the bottom of it. Touch on the pack master calibration tab. That will get you started into the Packmaster calibration. So you'll need your hydraulics engaged at the tractor at this time. 
also you will need the opener that's being calibrated with the load cell a block under the tire to keep the opener from touching the ground so this first screen of the pack for sensor calibration tells you that that you need to block it up it also gives you the information for which hole you need to be set to in your depth setting so the PLS we can see we are in hole 8 on the gauge so in the picture here make sure that you are set in in hole 8 for this particular model again the, the instructions for each specific model will be on the initial page of Packmaster calibration so once you have it blocked your hydraulics running you can hit the yellow tab with the arrow on it that will advance you to the next screen where it will attempt to reach 500 psi so the hydraulics will automatically lower the machine and set pressure to 500 psi once pressure has stabilized at 500 psi the arrow on the right hand side will turn yellow indicating it's ready to advance to the next page so press on that yellow tab to advance the next screen will show what the packing force is on the opener at 500 pounds so in this case it's 115 pounds load hit the yellow tab with the arrow to advance to the next screen so now it's going to set the pressure to 1500 psi so again once it stabilizes at 1500 psi the arrow on the right will turn yellow meaning it is time for you to advance to the next screen it'll also show you the load at the 1500 psi mark so for this example we have a sensor load of 209 pounds at 1500 psi so you can advance by hitting the yellow tab with the arrow on it to go to the next screen which will show a screen that says your pack for sensor calibration is now complete hit the check mark this will complete the calibration once calibration is complete make sure you return the opener to the proper hole for the depth setting that it was in previously as well remove the block from under the wheel now that we have the calibration portion done we can go look at the screen in our cedar controller for drill control on the left side of the drill control bar you'll see a white box with a rate in it that's your requested rate below that the plus and minus that's to increase or decrease by your increment that you have put in your settings page as well to the right of that the 150 and 200 are the preset one and two further right we have a green square that is the power button for packmaster below that is a toggle between automatic and manual modes to the farthest right we have a box divided in two one with your packing force and then the one with the gauge is your psi for your hydraulic pressure below that we have the raise and lower tab for your opener and to the right of that is the track master button the track master button locks the openers to the master switch so if your master is on your openers will be in the lowered position if the master is off the openers will be in the raised position we will now go over the components for the packmaster system first is harness 3151-87 this is a harness that runs from the ecu 
back to the spindle as well as to the opener control block on the drill. So this harness plugs into the channel on the EC8U, the CM40 that's located on the drill, and that's generally into channel 1, as in most cases none of the other channels will be used. So a little ways from the ECU there's a Y in the harness with the gray cable going to the load cell and the black going to the opener block. There's a connector just before the load cell, approximately three feet. Uh, there is a replacement connector, as shown on the picture, that can be bought as an aftermarket if this connector gets damaged. The spindle is located on the, the drill, about the center of the drill in the main frame on the back row. The black portion of the harness has two ends on it. One connects to the solenoid on the opener block, which allows you to change the pressure going to it to increase or decrease the effective packing pressure. And the other component goes to the transducer, which gives a reading back to the monitor in the cab to tell you what your hydraulic pressure is at. If you are requiring assistance in repairs on any of these, check your school handout book. All of the drawings and troubleshooting guides that are available should be included in that manual.